Hi everyone, it's Muriel, and I'm here with a collective haul that I did. I, you know, bought some things last week that I didn't share, and I'm at the point now where I'm ready to put things away, but I just wanted to show you some of the deals that I got. Um, Black Friday deals, and then Cyber Monday deals, and then AARP Tuesday deals. And I think that was it. My online shopping did a few shops. Um, you saw the one yesterday I got in from Elise. And then I did some things at uh, Joanne.com. And um, I think on Monday I got an email saying that one of the dyes that I wanted wasn't available. So that was fine. So that, you know, knocked the purchase down from like 40 something to 30 something. So that was fine. I didn't, you know, just say, okay, let me order something else. I just let it go. So, anyway, um, in no random order, I don't know which day was what, but, you know, Black Friday was a uh, 50% off coupon, and Cyber Monday was, um, I think I got her to use another 50% coupon, because it didn't show up on my cell phone, so I was, you know, it's, it's funny because when you're in Michael's and you try to bring up your um, apps, your uh, coupons on the cell phone, they don't come up, so I always have to go outside. But she was just like, oh, don't bother. I have a 50% coupon right here. So I was like, well, thank you. And then, um, of course, AARP um, Tuesday, I got the 10% off. On top of whatever else was on sale, you know, it was a lot of 40% off things. So, anywho, look at these. You know what I'm going to do with these. They are adorable. And I want to make... Um, a chunky charm using this and uh, somehow I'm going to put on here coop house somehow so these embellishments were um, these are by art my arts mine and they were 30% off so they were already like $2.99 so I picked up two of those so excited about those when I saw them I think I took the last two um, I just got some more snowflakes from Michaels I have some white ones around here somewhere I have some that I purchased at the dollar store but these are gold and they're really different you can kind of see it has this beautiful star on the inside and then it's all twisty pretzely around the edges so really really cute another uh, frame my sister saw my winter frame that I made and I think I put it on Facebook and her comment was I want one so I need to whip up one and I'm gonna put um, my daughter and I a Christmas picture inside that's what she doesn't know she thinks she's just getting a frame she's gonna get a frame with the picture and then some sprays the other one is not um, in my site, I purchased it. It's white and it's leafy. I'm going to use it for a stocking. I'm going to try to make a stocking like Luisa did. Luisa Diaz, she made a beautiful stocking. She bought a dollar stocking at the dollar store and she turned it into this masterpiece with lace and embellishment. So um, I purchased a white one, and but then I saw this red one because I wanted the leaves. And they're really hard and glittery and stiff. And then here are some, um, same thing, Arts Mine, some um, nice inch and a half um, glittered snowflakes. And then um, these little reefs, which I think are adorable. So I got them in green. And then I got two packs of the uh, white. I thought those were so, so cute. Never worked with these before. And then um, for the stocking, I picked up this a glittered butterfly. I thought that would make it look cute on it if I went with the white and gold look. So I picked this up and the stick picks right now are 50% 50, 50 off. Yes, so this was 99 cents so it would have come to 50 cents. And then I got some of these um, mini paper bags. So so cute peppermints on them. I thought those would be cute for cards or just to put um, some goodies in and send out. And then I got my paper bags because you know I just love altering paper bags. I will not buy a birthday or holiday bag ever. And with all the scraps that I'm seeing, um, I'm just dying to create some more because any gifts that I give to the co-workers or to my extended family, I I'll just make a bag. So I picked up another of those. And these I know I got for 50% off because they were 5 dollars 
and then um you know a girl can never have too many arty cakes they were $2.99 so I picked up some Christmas ones I'll just grab them here so I picked up this one here I thought it was so cute it says um, I'm Santa and I know it just like the song thought that was so cute with this nice little bobble so I picked up two of these and then this one here says joy to the world and it has this um, acrylic bobble with like a map on the inside really cute and then this one here I've always eyeballed this one of those $7.99 $9.99 ones that you don't want to spend that money but $2.99 I will and I may even dissect it because there's a lot of yummy goodness I love this I love the block and then she has there's a rondelle here in this white uh, embellishment and then this doll's head so I picked up two of those I just put the other one away so and then I did get a paper pad I didn't say I wasn't but I did I got the um, simple stories and you can see from the outside all of the beautiful uh, paper that's inside I love the dark green burgundy Christmas papers and this one here has some fabulous um, it has the bingo cards which I love but it has many many pages like look at that look at those those could be cut out border strips it has um, there's some beautiful green that it's not candy stripe but it, it has that stripe look and that's beautiful those can be cut out but there is oh look at that I love that look and just a bunch of circles um, the dots, the holly leaves. Okay, so this page here. So here are the uh, four by six cutouts cards. Be so cute for mini, for junk journal as well. And then there are ones that are um, a different long. You know, the six by four. So just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then this one here. So you have the two six by eight, maybe. And then these little uh, four by four cards at the bottom. So that's what got me on this paper pad, the cutouts. And then, of course, this humongous one here. Those letters could be cut out up there. And you have some border strips. So just a fun paper pad. They just... Wouldn't it be cool to be on a team that designs paper pads, collections, and stuff like that? Look at that. And they're changing so much. It used to be a paper pad was just 8 by 12 pages of just, you know, design, and that's it. But now they're really giving you so much more with these paper pads. Um, so, Simple Stories did real well this year. I really like this pad. And then um, I picked up some more of these, uh, me and my big idea pocket pages and first I thought when I got them home they said theme cards and I thought oh no I don't want cards but they're cards in the sense that they are um, like single let's see if I can get one out here so they're like that let's see um, um, there's something on the back so it's not totally white that's like a little polka dot there and then happy new year now for those of you who do um, Project Life, I guess this would work, but I like to have a sentiment on the inside of my cards, and these are perfect because they take up the entire space on the inside. And like I said, the back side has, that has a grid pattern or polka dot, grid or polka dot, and then it just has different stuff. This one says um, December, a month of, and you can kind of check it off. I just thought they was, would be so cute on the inside of your cards and these can be used as uh, borders not borders but uh, backgrounds and then you can maybe cut out a nice shape and then write your sentiment on that so and this one is a uh, all year round because I can see it has February here and then there is um, oops October there so I picked up um, this set and there's 72 pieces in here so it is so so much and then I picked up this set here so it has a lot of uh, birthday um, themes on it so love those there they all back there 
and I got a Spellbinder die that I didn't have. I actually went through my Spellbinder dies and realized that I didn't have the uh, scallop ovals. So um, I just wanted to make sure because I think twice this year I have bought Spellbinder dies that I've already had. I've, I've just given them away and, and give in racks. So um, here's one I didn't have and I got this one. Of course it was on sale as well. And then I think last but not least, I got some calendars. I don't know if you um, if you guys like to buy the calendars at Michael's, but they're a dollar. And um, if you're like me, I need one for the bathroom downstairs um, because we have a bulletin board down there. So that that's the one I keep for uh, what's going on with Mia in terms of when you're going to get out of school, um, when you have a half day, so forth and so on. And then I have one in the craft room here, and I'm glad that it's just half. You know, most calendars, this part up here is all... Um, photograph so uh, this is just the short half one and then um, I have one in well my desk and I have a calendar like a fiscal year calendar but I like to have one like this so that I know when I have doctor's appointments when stuff is going on so one dollar can't beat it and then of course the um, the year planner and this one is 2014 2015 and these if you don't have one, maybe you should resolve to start keeping one in your purse because um, this has helped me out a lot. Dentist appointments, I mean, because you can schedule so far out. And with, you know, her going away and me, you know, trying to schedule her dentist appointments and her this appointments and she's up at school. So um, I always take advantage of that. So I think that was all I had to share. I have a project that I'm working on. I just want to make a few more to show you. And then, um, and I think that's it. So um, I hope everyone is having a wonderful Thursday. I'm glad the weekend is near. Oh, as I look down, I see something else I forgot that I got. I picked up a pack of these here. They are the... Um, 21 uh, pine trees. So there's several different sizes, you know, super large. These are the kind that we put inside of the mason jars all the way to super small, but still not small enough for the project that I want to do. But I'm going to see if it's going to, it, it will work, but I know that you can get these even smaller. So um, this was 50% off. This was, I don't want to say pricey, but it was um, like a $24. How dare? Yeah. So um, I, it was 50% off, so I got it for 12 and, and I can always use these. That's the thing. So that completes my haul. Again, when my online goodies come in, I'll be more than happy. I think I ordered a craft mat and I ordered a paper trimmer. So I was being really, you know, um, cautious and not getting caught up in the hype. Um, so I can't wait for those to, to come because I need those. My paper trimmer this thing here is um, driving me crazy because it gets stuck. See, it's stuck right there. I don't like that. So I went ahead and ordered a nicer one. And my craft mat, I just wanted to get a black one. So that's all I have. I will talk to you guys and ladies pretty soon. Bye now.